What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog and something finally came in the mail today. Ta-da! So, what exactly is it? Um, this is a subscription box from a company called Bookish Bundle. So what is Bookish Bundle? They are basically a bi-monthly subscription box. Um, so each time there is a theme, and as the name suggests, there's a book in it, and a bunch of other curated goodies based on the theme of that particular month. This one that I ordered is called Skipping a Heartbeat, so it has something to do with romance. Now, when you make your order, you don't know what's going to be inside the box. You just know that there's going to be a book in it and there's going to be a bunch of things in it based on that theme. So it's a nice surprise when it comes and you get to unbox it. So enough yakking, it's time to unbox my present. Okay, so right from the get-go, there's this really nice card saying, you're just my type. And there's some, um, there's a message from the company here. Dear beloved, we have decided to create a care package for your love-stricken self. This collection of little treasures was designed to bring a smile on your face and leave a tenderness in your heart. Firstly, we would like to give to you a home-baked hot cookie to let you know you are soon worthy. Next, we'd like to offer you a poster of some of the best OTP ships in literature. Know why we think you're meant for us? It's written in the stars. On the book corner, at least. Mark your progress on your favourite sweet and sappy read. If you ever find yourself lovelorn, we've got the perfect fix for you. Hold on to this bottle of Amortensia. But shh, you didn't get it from us. We'd also like to give you a lovey-dovey art print for those meet-cute, love-at-first-sight moments. Keep believing in them. Lastly, we'd like to give you a book to keep you cozy for a date night in. The romantic read will make your inner hopeless romantic giddy. With love, Bookish Bundle. Oh, what a sweet message. Okay, time to see what's inside. So, bubble wrap. It's filled with... Okay. This. I think this is a bookmark that you put on like the corner of the book and then you mark the page so that you know where you stopped. It's very nice, I like the star pattern on it. Sorry I couldn't recognize it because I don't usually use like, I'm one of those people who don't use bookmarks and I just fold the pages. I know, blasphemy. Okay, what else is there? Ah, okay. This is a poster. Poster of some popular characters from, um, from popular literature. Peter Millock and Katniss Everdeen. And then there's Ginny Weasley in Harry Potter. Percy Jackson and Annabeth Chase. Hmm, I didn't really read the Percy Jackson series. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Bennet and... What's that? Oh, that Darcy guy. Yeah, well, that's another book that I didn't really read. Chloe Brown and Redford Morgan. I'm not sure where this is from. I know, I sound like I'm really... Like, I'm, I'm an igno ignoramus. Bella Swan and Edward Cullen. Michael Fan and Stella Lane. I don't know that either. And Landon Carter and Jamie Sullivan. I am so sorry, but a lot of these characters, I... I'm not familiar with them because I don't actually read a lot of um, love and drama fiction. I do know like Peter Millark and Ginny Weasley because I, I, I read The Hunger Games and Harry Potter, but other than that, mm, not all of them are familiar to me. But it's a very nice, very cutesy poster, so yeah, very nice. Okay, moving on. I think this is a photo frame. What does it say? I was in love and the feeling was even more wonderful than I ever imagined it to be. Nicholas Sparks, A Walk to Remember. And here we have the main character. 
Okay, it's a book. Twice Shy, a novel by Sarah Hogle. Hog, Hog, <laughs> I'm sorry. Author of You Deserve Each Other. Love speaks louder than words. Let's read a little bit of the excerpt at the back. Can you find real love when you always got your head in the clouds? Mabel Parrish has always been a dreamer and a hopeless romantic, but living in her own world has long been preferable to dealing with the disappointments of real life. So when Mabel inherits a charming house in the Smokies from her great aunt Violet, she seizes the opportunity to make a fresh start. Yet when she arrives, it seems the troubles have only just begun. Not only is the house falling apart around her, but she isn't the only inheritor. She has to share everything with Wesley Kohler, the groundskeeper who is as grouchy as he is gorgeous, and it turns out he has a very different vision for the property's future. Convincing the taciturn Wesley to stop avoiding her and compromise is a task more formidable than the other dying wishes great Aunt Violet left behind. But when Mabel uncovers something unexpectedly sweet beneath Wesley's skulls, and as the two slowly begin to let their guard down, they might learn that sometimes the smallest steps outside one's comfort zone can lead to the greatest rewards. Actually, this plot kind of sounds like a movie I've seen before. It's called uh, Summer Holiday, and it was released in 2000. It's a Hong Kong movie starring Rishi Jen, he's a Taiwanese actor, and uh, Sammy Cheng, who's a Hong Kong actress. So yeah, it goes something along these lines where there's like an inheritance and then Sammy Cheng's character flies to Malaysia. Yes, it was filmed in Malaysia at Pulau Radang. It's also what made Pulau Radang really famous among um, Chinese tourists for a while. And when she gets there, she realizes that the property, half of the property is actually uh, owned by this, this other guy. And they start off on the wrong foot and it's like really <laughs> hilarious. In order to sell the property... She has to get him to sign as well, so she tries to make him fall in love with her or something, or was it the other way around? But anyway, that plot that I just read at the back of this book kind of sounds like that. But yeah, I mean, it, it sounds like an interesting story, and I look forward to reading this book. There are still a couple of things inside, small, small items. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think this is the Amortensia bottle. Like a love potion. Very cute. It's actually a like a pin or a brooch of some kind. And then anything. Okay. A homemade cookie. My darling. <laughs> and that's it. That's all the items that are inside the bookish bundle box. How much did the box cost me? Okay. The box costs 95 ringgit for West Malaysia, which includes shipping, and it costs 100 ringgit for East Malaysia. So I think the next one, because this was supposed to be for May, so the next one will probably be for June, July. For July, and they'll have another theme, and another book, and another set of items, curated goodies that you'll get. Where can you order? Um, where can you order Bookish Bundle? You can look for them on Instagram at Bookish Bundle. So, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. I'm gonna go eat this cookie now. And I'm gonna go read this book as well. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!